Hello everyone, I'm Bra Mithra. Uh, today I'm going to do another video on Town Folk Tussle. Um, I'm going to use uh, just three characters this time. Uh, last time I did four and I didn't use everyone's abilities very optimally, so I think with three uh, it probably will play a lot better uh, for me for solo. It'll be easier to control, it'll go a little bit faster. I think I think three will feel better for me. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to play through it. We'll see if we can get all the way to the end. So remember, this game launching October 20th. So uh, on Kickstarter. And I'm not gonna use Quintus Binch this time. And again, I'm not gonna use the Blopsy Twins or Henlo. So we're doing Norman Fishboy. Again, I've got everything set up here. So uh, this is what I should have been doing. Last time, the strange attraction would have been awesome. I could have pulled the scarecrow out of uh, <laughs> out of the cornfield, which would have been awesome. That would have totally helped, made that fight a lot easier. Also, um, he uses plus two range with all melee weapons. I thought it was when uh, a non-range weapon, but this is a range two melee, so I should have been I could have been attacking from uh, range four. Uh, yeah, because he gets plus two range, three range four with this fishing roll or fishing rod, so that would have been a lot better. And then again, uh, Granny Melba with her Rudy two. I thought that was a pretty good one. I did the far sighted quite a bit, so I know that worked good. So I'm going to use her again. Uh, I think she might be one of the better starting characters. I don't know. I played a couple times since, and I still think she's one of the better ones. And then I forgot to take advantage of the lover discount last time, so I definitely will be doing that for sure. Um, and then Yancey Pl Plover again, because I like the taunt ability here, where, you know, you get the... If the next card targets a single townsfolk, it will always target you. And I'm going to try out this blacksmith thing uh, right now. We'll see if I can able to do this with well in town. Other town folks may have five coins and discard a non-starting piece of gear. If they do, they receive the first weapon at random from the peddler deck. So, uh, let's go ahead and we'll set up the town phase. So, it's also nice here, at the start of this here, you can see everything's got the town phase all. So you receive your three feats right away, then you do town events, then you shop, and then you enter the uh, fight phase. So, we will do that. So first, shuffle town events, shuffle up all the feats. There we go, we'll give everybody three feats. I'll pay more attention to the feats too. Last time with the Scarecrow, I think uh, me not paying really good attention to the uh, feats was a problem <laughs> uh, because I ended up taking so much damage from having to discard them and such. So let's uh, quickly do these. Oops. So uh, trains move six plus squares in a straight line in a single turn. Uh, his movement is only three. This is going to be almost, like, impossible for him, but we'll see. Interact with the train piece. That one should be easy. And then take damage from the ruffian when the target is the farthest town folk. This should also be pretty good because I can always taunt, because this the farthest town folk is still considered a single town folk, so that'll be good. Let's do these now. So this is for, uh granny here uh if there is a tie for targeting and you are not chosen you gain the feat if you do not change your equipment gear for the entire fight achieve that should be pretty easy i only plan on shooting the gun uh do not deal any damage to the ruffian over the course of the fight uh i don't think that will be happening all right and let's try here for norman and the town phase with one or higher accuracy. Uh, that's sh gonna be done. I mean, he starts with two, so that should be pretty easy. What's this one? And if it's a sole survivor, I hope that doesn't happen. I want to try to win with everybody, but if it happens, I hope it does for him. Complete a fight without going into or interacting any terrain. This one might be easy. So, um, we did that. Now let's shuffle up this. We'll get our town events. Oops. I forgot I had the dice there. Okay, so uh, we'll go here. So we got here. Rolling Fog. 
You are swallowed by a cloud of rolling fog. It is near impossible to see anything. You're stumbling over bodies left and right. Luckily, you can use the fog to your advantage and sneak up on the ruffian. In the next fight, the ruffian skips their first turn, and all townsfolk have might. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I thought this was going to be really easy, but it might not be. Uh, okay. So let me just lower everyone's accuracy, which is not the greatest, but, you know, what can you do? Okay, lower everyone's accuracy, and we'll just go ahead and put this... Oh, that's right, I don't have the board flipped over yet. <laughs> uh, so let's finish this one. Uh, this run, or bump and run. You collide with the fleeing townsfolk, causing both of you to fall and drop some gear. The other townsfolk frantically grab their goods and run, leaving you to pick up the rest. What an oaf. Wait a minute, this isn't yours, and where'd your weapon go? Discard one of your weapons at random. Ah, I received the first weapon from the peddler deck. Well, this is just really bad. This is starting to be quite Kingdom Deathy with the randomness here. Okay, so put those two together. We'll flip them over. And now we'll shuffle. This is the discard. Okay, Granny's Cane. So we get to keep Rudy Tudor. Good. So Granny's Cane is getting discarded. Uh, we'll just go ahead and add it right back to the starting gear. And shuffle, and we get the first weapon. Uh, headgear. Oops. Accessory. Leg gear. Spiked vest. Leg gear. Chest gear. Chest gear. Chest. Okay. Uh, chest. What is what is happening? Leg gear. Leg. <laughs> there it is. Old belt. That took a long time. Old belt. It's a one-handed whip. If you miss with this weapon, you take one damage. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. Well, let's uh, pick those all up. Flip them over. Put them back. Shuffle that all up. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, so that's the end of that. Let's town event. Discard. One more town event. Let's go. Gambler's Den. You weed your way through Eureka Springs and find some of the wealthiest fellows in town. They're looking to gamble. You may spend three coins once to do some gambling. If you do, roll plus accuracy. I'll do it. Why not? And then roll plus accuracy. Eight. So we got a seven. Lugs on your sign. You won nine coins. Okay. Um, I wonder. Okay. So we'll get back our three here. And then so we actually win six. I'm assuming that's what it means. I don't think you win back your pot and then win uh, nine as well. So I'll just play it like that. So uh, we actually win six. There's our six. Okay, that's the end of the town events. Let's shuffle up this. Let's go ahead. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's go ahead and put these all out. Still not seeing any weapons here. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead. Uh, now we look over here. So we've got Granny, then Norman, then Yancey for our buy order. So Granny is first. Now this old belt here. Hmm. If you miss with this weapon, you take one damage. Okay, so. We could, while in town, other town folks may pay you five coins, discard a non-starting piece of gear. If they do, they receive the first weapon in the peddler deck. <sighs> so we could pay five coins, get rid of that belt. It would leave us with five dollars. Is there anything we'd want to be buying with five dollars for Granny Melba? Hmm. So, let's see. Nothing here is five dollars at all. Okay, so no. <laughs> 
Uh, whenever you gain movement, or whenever you take damage, gain movement. Wow. Ruffian collides with you. They take two damage. This can occur one per Ruffian action. Wow. So this chest piece uh, will definitely be going to the tank. Minus one max HP, and then for two mocks, spend two squares away from the ruffian and move two squares and restore one HP. I think I'm getting this coward's cloak. So that will be eight. That will be our chest gear, just because I envision Granny here. Not, uh, put that there. Not having problems running away to gain HP. <laughs> She'll be at range anyway. Okay. Uh, and how much does that cost? So it costs two mocks. She's got one mox right now. So if she ever she get, if she ever gets three mox, she could shoot and then run away and heal. I think that'll be very good for her. So that should be awesome. I'm looking forward to using that. Now we go to Fish Boy here. Um, so let's um, this would give him. He's already got pretty good range. Melee one-handed unique. This gives him one movement, one HP, and chest gear. So, medicine bag, or this, hmm, I don't know here. <laughs> medicine bag's pretty good. I seem to have a lot of hard time healing. Uh, I know that the, uh, what's her name, the chicken, she does healing, but I'll use melee one-handed unique. So... This cost me all 10. I know she does uh, healing, uh, Henlo. Um, but I think this will be good for him. Now, for finally for Clover here, and we're definitely going to get him that, uh, what was it? This spiked vest for 11. So that would leave him with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bucks left. Do you want to buy anything else for five dollars? Hmm. So there's eleven. There, oh, there was nothing for five dollars. Spike vest for sure. Um. Actually, I forgot he has a smith and smithy apron. Hmm. Now nah, you know what? I think we're still going to keep the spike vest because I think I can taunt. We're going to try this out. So. You can also spend two mocks to switch gear. I don't know, I forget if you if it has to be a weapon. Let me see. Change gear, pay two mocks, select a gear slot and exchange it with a piece of stash gear. Okay, so we'll do that. We will use this and then if he ever gets low, we'll switch to this. Okay, that'll be the end of the town phase right now. So, um, what do we have here? End of town phase with one or higher accuracy done did that so uh, we will go ahead and just take the two extra bucks so we'll take the two extra dollars good job anything else we got here no anybody else no if you not change your equip here for the entire fight so we can probably get that and take damage interact move six okay so one person, he achieved at least that. Okay, now I just have to do these. I don't know what order these are in, so we're just going to randomize them. Um, there, he'll be the, this one. The hooligan, chump, final flight. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Now let's find out who it is we're fighting. Oh, Samuel Strawman. <laughs> okay, I guess we're getting revenge on Samuel Strawman. I didn't really want to fight Samuel Strawman, but there we go. Samuel Strawman. So we already know how this sets up. We'll fight him again. Um, okay, let me set up Samuel Strawman, and then we'll be right back. All right, here we are. Looks very familiar, doesn't it? This is it. Here we are. Samuel Strawman once again. Very familiar. Uh, he's a little bit weaker this time. So he's only going to have 7 movement, and he's going to start on the 12, because I'm only playing with uh, 3. Oops. Yep, because I'm only playing with 3 people, so you can see here 
7 and 12. Uh, so that's good. Last time it was 7 and 15. So, perfect. Here we go. We will, um, and then we've got everything set up. Here we go. Very familiar, as we just put in my other video. Uh, so it was revenge time. Awesome. I'm always good f up for a lot of revenge. Now, uh, because of this, the rolling fog, in your next fight, the ruffian skips their first turn, and all townsfolk have minus one accuracy. So this was the town event. So we've now, oops, didn't mean to be spinning this. There we go, and we'll just shuffle those back up. All right. Now, so that means we get to go first. So, with that said, let's look at the beat down order. So he's gonna skip it. We're gonna go Yancey, Norman, Granny. So here's Yancey right here. He's gonna move two. So of his, what does he have? Three movement, right? So that's two. He's gonna go ahead and attack with his old Smacky, which is, again, the five accuracy. So that will spend our two mocks. We'll have one left, which we can't do anything with except for do this. So we'll spend this to uh, activate whatever. Um, I don't know. I would assume you activate it now in anticipation that he collides with you rather than you need the mocks uh, to spend when it does happen. So I'm just going to assume that you spend it now. So here we go. We're going to have a minus one accuracy. So we're hitting on a six. That's a miss. Okay. We'll leave him where he is. Now, I think it's Granny, right? Oh no, Norman. Okay. So with Norman, we have the two range. We have a one accuracy. So this is gonna hit on a five plus, but we also get the plus two range. So uh, I wasn't very good with this last time. So we'll go ahead move to within four. One, two, three. So we are within four right where we are. We'll go ahead, roll now as we hit on a five. That is a hit. We will do our one damage. Down to 11. Um, and we'll go ahead and we'll move one away. Now for Granny here, her range is range 6 with the Rudy Tutor, so we want to take as much advantage of this as we possibly can for the plus accuracy because we are now at a minus 3. So if we can, we would love to be the full 6 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which we are. I'll just recount again. 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, 5. Oh, we can actually move here. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep. Okay, now we were the full away. We'll shoot with the Rudy Tutor, which is a 6 plus accuracy. We're going to get the full plus 6, so we're at a minus 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're at a plus 3 accuracy, so that would be a 3 to hit. That is a 1. All right, well, on the plus side, we're going for this. I meant what, what I meant to say is we're going, we're going for this, so with the dealing no damage. That, that's what I, I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, Great. Oh, minus one max HP. My bad. And then, um, so that was, where's her mox? Oh, she's only got two mox, so we need to somehow gain one more mox before we can start taking advantage of this. Okay. Now, that is the end of our turn. We'll go back up to Samuel, as you can see here. Back to Samuel now. Flip the first card. Lurk. So, closest terrain feature. Play the net. Okay. Move completely into target. If Samuel enters the target, even partially trigger the effect. So, we're looking for the feature here. So, the closest feature is probably the ditch or maybe the haystack. Uh, the closest one's going to be the haystack. One, two, three, four to go right there. It's one, two, three, four, five, six to get to the ditch there. I don't think this is a feature. Yep, these are obstacles. So that's actually awesome because he's going to go to the haystack. That's going to cause him to collide, have collision 
with uh, the spike vex. So he's going to take two damage because we spent the one moxie ahead of time. So this is actually already paying off. Okay, so collision. One, two, three, four. He can get all the way in there. Okay, and what does he do when he's in there? Move completely into target, so he did. And then Samuel lashes out from the shadows. Any town folk within four squares, the target takes one damage. One, two, three, four. No, so that will be him. Uh, he's actually going to go to here because of the collision. He just moves the one space. He's still within the four. One, two, three, four. So he's going to go ahead and take one. However, Samuel here is going to take two because of the jacket. He'll go ahead and take the one. All right. Awesome. That worked out really good. All right. Now, it will be Yancey's turn. He'll go ahead. Um, let's see. We can move up the three, which is fine, right to here. Ugh. I hate the models. And ugh, come on. Well, whatever. We want him to be there. Okay. So he'll go ahead, he'll attack there, and then I'm going to move away. So I'm going to move to here anyway with my last movement. So we'll just say I'm here for now because I can't get the model there, and then we'll just attack. So again, it's going to be the minus one, so it's going to be a six. Miss, and that'll take two mocks. We'll spend another mocks to activate the spike vest. So again, we have spike vest activated. Hmm, actually... So how much does Norman have here for movement? One, so he's got four. One, two, three, four. I could get to here. So actually, you know what we're going to do? So instead of moving here, because I didn't think about this. So I was here. We're going to go one, two, three, and then move back one. We'll, move, we'll end here for our four. And then with Norman, we're going to go one, two, three, four to here. And then we're one, two, three. Oh, are we too far? He's got four, right? Um, so we'll end here. One, two, three, four. This will still work. So we'll end here. Now we'll attack with Norman. Okay, so Norman has the plus one accuracy, so this hits on a five. That's a hit, that's a six, which is perfect. So we'll do the one damage here, bring him down to eight. Then what we will do is strange attraction. When you hit a ruffian with any weapon, you may pull them up to two squares towards you. So you can see what we're doing here, pulling him two squares towards us. One, two, right to there, causing another collision, pushing Yancey to there, and causing two damage from the collision. One, two causing a break point to be triggered where we draw a card. And that break point is stay off my lawn. All townsfolk within two squares of a terrain piece move toward the farthest townsfolk. All targets then roll. So within two squares of a terrain piece, was it? Two squares of a terrain piece, not granny. Uh, one, two, one, two. One, two, so he's not within two here. One, two. One, two, one, two. He's not within two. He is. So he's going to be the furthest one for sure. And then they all, uh, it's only going to be Norman, so he's the only one who's going to roll. So we're looking on a one through a seven or the eight. Let's just roll this dice here. Of course, so a ten. You narrowly dodge, oh, it's good for us. You narrowly dodge a flurry of bird carcasses from Samuel. <laughs> so, okay, so he dodged. All right, now, then, that was the break. So we still have um, uh, Granny here. Now, she can't shoot because remember, we have the Rudy Tutor. When used, Rudy Tutor cannot attack the, on the following turn. So we'll just go ahead. We'll spend two mocks, which is all she has. She'll move two squares away from the ruffian, and then she'll restore one HP. So we'll restore the one HP. We'll move two squares away. One, or it has to be away, I guess. So one, two. 
Okay. That is the end of our turn, because Granny goes last. Now, Samuel's turn. Violent lands. Samuel demands a change in scenery. Closest obstacle. So now we go ahead. The barrel is an obstacle. The outhouse, the farm, and a wooden fence. Uh, it's definitely the barn. Okay, so the rickety farm is the closest obstacle. Move to target. If Samuel reaches the target, trigger the after effect. Straw man cuts and flattens the landscape into nothing, dealing one damage to any townsfolk within two squares of the target. No one was within two squares of this target. So does he move completely into it? Uh, move the target. Samuel reaches the target, trigger the... So I, I guess he just moves to here because he's technically reached it. So, okay. Um, so he cuts, flattens, and nothing dealing one damage to any townsfolk within two squares. Yeah, it doesn't say this is the closest obstacle with targets near it, so he just targets the barn and destroys it, and then does nothing really, I guess. <laughs> okay, uh, so he just destroys this. So we'll just flip the rickety barn. This just gets, I'll just put this away too. Okay, uh, yeah, he just, he really hated that barn. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Now it's our turn with the Yancey Plover. We're going to do the same tactic. We're going to move one here. Oh, these minis. Or it's Tabletop Simulator. It's not the minis. I shouldn't say that. It's definitely Tabletop Simulator. So we're going to move one to here. So we'll be able to attack with Yancey here. Um, so we got the minus one. It's going to be a four. He's done no damage. Uh, okay. So then we'll spend the one mox again to do this. Now we will move, next would be Norman Fishboy. One, two, three to here, right? One, two, three, four, yep. He's within four here. Uh, he can actually move one more space down. Yeah, he could. So, one, two, three, we're four away from the straw man. Let's go ahead and attack with Norman. He's gonna be hitting on a five. So, five, that's a hit. It's gonna do one damage. One right before the break point. We will move him closer, one, two. It's gonna push Yancey to here and put him there. He's gonna take two damage, one, two. It's gonna trigger another break. Uh-huh, target, none. Move towards the farthest townsfolk. Strawman commands his crows to keep an eye on his land. Keep this card in front of the townsfolk. Any townsfolk that enters a terrain piece for any reason is pecked by crows. Oh, I remember this. This is this one. <laughs> okay, target none. So here we go. Move towards the farthest townsfolk. So he's got seven movement. That's going to be Granny. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Yeah. It's gonna get her to here. Uh, that's gonna cause him to go here, him to go here. Um, I forget. Let me just confirm that collision. Where is it? Colliding with the townsfolk. Fifteen. doesn't cause damage. I don't think it did. I think he just moved them to the next square. Uh-huh. Colliding with the townsfolk. Some actions require ruffian to move onto a square with the townsfolk. When they do, the townsfolk is pushed out of that square and into an adjacent square of their choice. This can occur multiple times per actions and allow townsfolk to strategically navigate to a better position on the board. If a ruffian would collide with a townsfolk and there are no suitable adjacent squares for the townsfolk to move on, they are placed the nearest possible square not occupied by a townsfolk. Yeah, so colliding does not cause damage. So uh, they're just moved and moved, and then he moves to there. So this does not trigger again because it says this can occur once per ruffian action. So, um... Hmm. 
Well, I have to spend the plus one mox. Well, I don't know exactly how the spike vest would work. I wonder if it's in here. I wonder if there's like a fact that says something about the spike vest. You'd think so because I am I spending it preemptively? Uh, not results. I want like frequently. I, I thought there was one for frequently. Uh, nope. So let's just say that you'd have to spend the one mox every time you wanted to do it. I'm gonna make that call here and say that you would need to spend the one mox every single time it would occur and you can't spend like three mox on the same action. Uh, activating gear abilities, here we go. Some pieces of gear have abilities that can be activated to give you the upper hand of combat. Activated ability can be found at the bottom of usually X mox. Each ability can be activated once per turn, unless otherwise stated. If you activate a piece of gear that can only be used once per fight, it is recommended that you turn the gear sideways. Okay. So this doesn't mean how many times this thing can trigger. So I guess once I spend the one mox here, every single time he's going to trigger, I would get to take this two damage. I don't know exactly how that works. Let's just say I spend the one mox and it can happen one time. Uh, and I was spending it preemptively. Otherwise, he would take another two damage here. But, um, so anyway, let's just go across with this pecking order. Okay, move towards the farthest townfolk. Strong man commands his crows. Okay, so we did this. Keep this card in front of the townsfolk. Oh, so let's go ahead and do that. I don't want every single card. Come on, tabletop simulator, let's go. Okay, so there we go. Take this card. Um, if the townsfolk is trained, they're ta okay. Mm hmm. So now we're at the point where she's never done any damage, and he has three health left. So in essence, I could just hit with my rod, drag him back into the tank, have him take two damage, and I could actually achieve this cowardly fighter. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just not even gonna have her attack to do damage. Uh. Might as well. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. So she gets what? Three movement? What is her movement? Four movement. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Um, I mean, I might as well just heal for the two mocks and only move two squares away. No, well, I, I'll do my four movement. Now I'll heal for two mocks and I'll heal another HP. I don't know if I can't go over the top. I don't see why I couldn't. I don't see why I couldn't heal over my max, right? I don't know. Yeah, I won't heal over my max. <laughs> uh, can it, I don't even know if it says if you can ever heal over your max. Healing. Things to consider when changing gear. No. Where's healing? Lowering stat. Losing the game. Critical hits. No. Uh, random facts. When I run into a conflict... Uh huh. I don't know. It doesn't say anything about healing over my max. Uh, I'll just say I can't heal over my max. I guess because it's not technically healing, then it's gaining. Okay, so I just won't do it. I'll just, I'll just not gain and just use the ability to move two extra things. Okay, now that was the because remember it was a break that triggered this crow thing, so now it's back to same as straw man. Okay. Here we go. Overgrown. Okay, so that's, that's this again. If overgrown corp. Okay, move completely into target. If Samuel enters the target, even partially the tree they act bad. Samuel violently stuffs his body with the use of corn. He restores 2 HP, and townsfolk inside the target take 2 damage. Okay, so can he even make it there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He can't even make it there. Um, move completely into the target. If he enters, so I, I guess this doesn't mean he just magically goes there. Move completely into the target. If he does, so I guess he can't make it. He's going to move his 7 and he's not going to make it there. Because I don't think he just teleports. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Uh, that's his turn. 
Um, I'm not going to be able to do anything with ye with Clover here. So one, two, three, four movement to here. Uh, oh, he's only got three movement. Um, I guess I'll taunt for his two. Yeah, he's going to taunt and then activate his spike vest. So he's only going to move to here and then taunt. So one, uh, let's get to here with Norman. One, two, three, four, and we'll pull him this way. Okay, if I hit, we'll pull him this way. Okay, here we go. That's a six. So we would have hit on a five. We, this is a six. It does one damage. We'll pull him this way. One, two, to, to us. It gives a damage. So he's got two hits left. Uh, Granny here. I guess I'm just going to keep going for it. I'm just going to have her just not take damage, right? Uh, makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah, let's just not. So one, two, let's just have her go here again, just so she stays out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can't get to her. Okay. Um, that looks good to me. So he's now taunting. And again, with the taunt, the next card in the action deck targets a single townsfolk. It targets you instead. All right. So come on, something that targets only one person. Closest townsfolk. Going to target him for sure. Move to target. Samuel reaches them, deal one damage. Target is stuck on the stick. They skip their next turn. Okay. So he's going to skip his next turn, but he's going to do one, two, three, four. He reaches them. He's going to go ahead and do one damage. So he's down to two. Now he's going to skip his next turn. Oh, that sucks. He's going to skip his next turn. So now it makes me wonder when I activate this gear. Because I won't be able to activate it on his turn. So do I have to activate it on uh, when it occurs? Or do I activate it on his turn when I spend Mox? Hmm... Let's look here. Let's uh, look. Activating gear abilities. Okay. When does this... This is on the townsfolk's turn. This would make me think that I would need to activate that on the townsfolk's turn because it's on the townsfolk turn page. Some pieces of gear is... An activated ability can be found at the bottom of the piece of gear. It usually costs X marks to activate. Each ability can be activated once per turn. Okay, if you activate a piece of gear that can only be used once per fight, okay. So I'm assuming I can't activate his vest this turn. Um, one, two, three, four. Right? He has four movement. Yeah, he has four movement. So we'll move to there. One, two, three, four. We'll attack. Uh, now, again, I know Clover was first, but again, I have to I have to skip his turn, so it goes right to Norman Fishboy now. Go so here we go. <laughs> like the little spin there. He has not missed. He is he is just tearing it up. Okay, that's he's at one health now. Uh, pull him away. One, two towards me. Okay, this is just probably not going to happen. This is probably going to happen. Anything else I can... Uh, farthest townsfolk. Nope, was closest. Interact with the terrain piece, I don't want to do that. Move six, can't, can't do that. Okay. I don't want to shoot with her, I just want to get this five coins. So... I'll take the five coins and not shoot with her. Seems like the better deal. Okay, let's just do another... What was this again? Whenever I enter, right? Yeah. Any towns look enter piece trained for any reason. Okay. Closest town folk. Uh, it's going to be Norman. Okay. Move to target. If Samuel reaches them, deal one damage. Aftermath. Target rolls. On a four or lower, Samuel hoists them onto a pole. Their movement is reduced by two. Okay. Four or lower for you. A two. Yep. He, I mean, everything he's been asked to roll, he's been hitting it. If he asks to roll to hit, he gets it. If he needs to roll some something or lower to get something to effect, does it. So his movement is lowered by two, and he takes one damage. Okay. Movement, one, two. Takes one damage. Okay. 
Uh huh. It doesn't skip his turn though, right? Nope. His movement's just reduced by two. Okay. It's Plover's turn. One, two, three. He's actually here, and then he'll move four to get away. So he's actually going to end up there. So he's moving his one, or one, two, three. We'll just have him move here. You know what? This would be faster if he just moves there. How about that? <laughs> just faster if he goes there. Okay. Let's attack with Plover now. Uh, I need a six plus. That's a six. One damage. He is killed. That is the end of Samuel Strawman. That's called revenge. We got revenge on him. Made that fight look so much easier. Oh my gosh. It's like embarrassing how bad I did that last time. Like I said, I was just... I, I Four people didn't focus very well. This time I did it. I focused very well. Let's go. All right. Complete a fight without going into interacting. I did this. We're going to take the three. So we've got... Uh-huh. And the fight is this one we did not do. So... Go ahead and add that right back to the deck there. Three bucks. I'm taking that right now. Give me those three bucks. Got it. Okay. Granny, do not deal any damage to the ruffian. Five bucks. If you do not change your equipment gear for the entire... Okay, got that. It's eight bucks. If there ever is a tie for targeting and you were not, I don't, this did not happen. Okay. Did not happen. Okay, we're getting ourselves eight bucks from this. Five. Sorry, eight bucks. All right. Uh, take damage from the ruffian when, no, I didn't do that. No, didn't do that. Oh man, none of these. Didn't get any of these. Oh, I hate them. It doesn't zoom out. Ugh, why? Okay, so, good. Now, who had the most points? Two, three. So Norman had the most points. Okay, so in the aftermath, we get gear rewards. Rockfield jacket, garden shears, scarecrow's pole. Okay, let's go ahead and search. Rockfield jacket, scarecrow's pole, garden shears. Garden shears, what do these do? Search the action discard pile and remove two cards. Wow. And it's three plus eight. Wow. That's, uh. That's okay. I hate that this doesn't zoom out. Okay, let's go ahead, put that there. It goes to Norman. Okay, let's uh, clean up now. Or, well, uh, still we do the aftermath. So, um, I just want to confirm. Pretty sure it's the six, six bucks. <laughs> Combat, defeating the ruffian. Upon defeating the ruffian, townsfolk do the following. All accomplished feats are discarded. I did that. Each townfolk receives six coins, courtesy of the ruffian's wallet. Okay, so we get the six coins. Townfolk to achieve the most feats, not the most points. Oh, okay, so it's not the case of a tie, you roll. Okay, so the two people receive two. Uh, so let's roll off here. Three, okay, so Norman still gets it. He rolled highest. Okay, so my bad, it's not the most points, it's most just feats in general. Rotate the townsfolk order and the... Okay. Uh, and then we go back to the town phase. Samuel, you are uh, not having it. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and set up for the sound phase, we'll do the buy, and then I think we'll call it there. And then we'll do the next fight. All right, here we go. It's all ready, I rotated him. Oop, Samuel's done. Put him up here. Uh, we'll find out who's next. Umbrello is next. Okay, he's gonna be the ruffian. So I redid this. So Yancey went down. Uh, Norman moved up. These feats are accomplished. So we'll leave them there. These can get flipped over because they're done with them. Again, the feats oops, are determined for who will be the. Uh, they determine who's the sheriff at the end because 
sheriff effects, some targeting, and some things in the final fight. So the person with the most points will become the sheriff in the final round. So, this is still his smithy apron. So, I give everybody their six. Let's uh, shuffle these up. Shuffle these up. Shuffle these up. Alright, let's get three new feats. One. Okay, uh, let's put his apron just right here, because eventually, like I said, when he gets to one health, I'll probably switch to it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's check out these new feats. Okay, let's go. New feats, new feats. We've got activate a terrain piece and attack the ruffian in the same turn. Enter the dense woods or dangerous ditch. Hmm. Hopefully those happen to be on the next fight. I don't even know. What, I don't think Umbrello even uses them, so I won't be able to do this. End the town phase with the least coins. Hmm. I think we will try to do that. All right. Let's go, Granny. Uh, touch two opposing landscape edges. Okay. Discard a feat you have already completed. Uh. Discard a feat you have already completed. Oh, so I guess you could discard already completed feats? Huh. Hmm. I mean, there's. I did have one that was had zero points to it, so I guess it would be beneficial to discard the one that's worth zero points at the end of the game. I know this, it's a no big, it's not a trade-off. You might as well just gain the plus one accuracy, right? Uh, so, oh, sell a piece of gear. We'll probably do that. Uh, let's go ahead and reset everybody's things. That's reset. Uh, minus one max XP. This actually goes down. You know what? I probably couldn't have been able to heal that. Um, I don't know if I should have been able to heal. Uh, so here's the guard. Oh, let's finish up looking at these feats. So, um, restore two HP to another townsfolk. Oh, I do have the medicine bag. It's possible. Start your turn as the closest townsfolk. Okay, cannot be a tie, I can do that. Complete a fight with a starting weapon equipped the entire time. I could also do that. Oh, this is two-handed, so I couldn't even, good thing I didn't use messing bag, I wouldn't have been able to. Uh, so, you know, I could switch to the garden shear and the medicine bag, but then I wouldn't be able to do anything with the starting equipment. I think I might just want to leave that. Uh, we'll look at the fight and we'll look to see which one we want to go to equip with. Okay, so we'll just do this town phase and then we'll end this for this time. Okay, let's uh, draw everybody an event. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do the buy phase and stuff. Uh, so it's Norman, so... Okay. Mugging duo. Two stout fellows approach you, trying to take advantage of the chaos in town. Hand over all your money, bub. <laughs> what are they, Logan? <laughs> uh, one or less weapons owned. Okay, two plus weapons owned. These guys don't scare you. A flash of your weapons send the muggers running. Keep this card in front of you. It counts as a one point feet of metal. Okay, because I have two. I have two owned. So the shears. So good. Awesome. He just got himself one more point. All right. Uh, town Bard. All right. A small man with a ukulele approaches you. For three coins, he is offering to spread the word of your valiant deeds around town. If you pay, keep this counts as a one point. Oh, I'm not going to pay. I mean, I don't care who wins. The new... Uh... <laughs> kind of sucks, I guess, when you play a solo game. Kind of takes the flavor out of it because you're not really trying to win. Uh, that's sad. I feel bad not trying, but I mean, what am I gonna do? I don't. I don't really care. <laughs> so I'd rather the money. Uh, my last one, treasure hunt. You see, old man Gooby digging for his family's long lost treasure. You should help him out. Roll plus max HP. Well, first let me reset my max HP here. Uh, at 12. 
Oh man, it would have been nice to get 13 plus. So 12. Townsville dig for hours but find nothing. Gooby decides it's time to abandon the hunt and gives you the Gooby Shovel Unique Gear. Gooby's Shovel Unique Gear. Now, I think that is like underneath this table here. Is this the unique gear? Oops. No. Oh. Tabletop simulator. Come on. Please be Gooby's Shovel because I don't... No. Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, tabletop simulator, what happened? No! No, I accidentally dropped it. Oh, oh no, there they are. <sighs> <Ugh. laughs> Alright, I gotta find... Um, search. Gooby shovel? No, it's not in here. Oh, this is unique here. My bad. This is like the legacy stuff you get for like beating the game. No, stop searching. This should just... Oh, tabletop simulator! Okay, there we go. Search. Come on, why can't I... Okay. Um, Gooby shovel. Cool. Let's get that Gooby shovel. Oop, what do we got here? Gooby shovel. Two mocks. Six, oh, it's plus, oh, it does two damage and plus one HP. Oh, awesome. This couldn't have gone to a better person. Oh, good. We are just, uh, doing awesome. Doing awesome. Okay. Old Smacky. Coming down into our, our little owned pile that we have here. All right. Gooby shovel. That was awesome. <laughs> All right. Doing well. Okay. Awesome. Now, um, let's refill this. Isn't there a way to, like, deal? No, I don't want to deal, because then I think it goes all around the table. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here we go. Repopulate this. Mm, you know what, I, sh I should have set this all up before I started recording. I'll remember that next time. All right, come on. Let's get something awesome. All right, who do we got now? Yancey buys first. How much money you got, Yancey? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bucks. Huh. Uh, you have a chest piece, so pretty much head, leg, or accessory. With 11 bucks. Okay. Unequ unequip this. Search the action, discard, remove. Okay, that's pretty cool. I wonder if I should get this just to plan for like the final fight. Unequip this. Search the action, discard pile and remove a card from the game. But it's a chest gear and have to wear it. I don't want to do that. You take no damage from the ruffian until your next. Year. Oh, this is pretty cool. I could taunt and then do this. Yeah, he's getting the white flag because I don't have an accessory. All right, white flag. That's gonna cost him five. And then Granny, right? You have Granny Melba. Huh, I'd like to wait for you to get one more mox so you could shoot and then do this. So, can we get you one more mox? That tool belt, oh yeah, you could probably get it. Here we go, you've got 16. Yeah, 16. Leg gear. Belt o knives. Spending Town's Pulk lands a critical hit. You deal one damage. Oh, this is just awesome. Let's just get this Belt o knives for 14. Right? Yeah, I don't have any leg gear. Alright. Leg gear. Uh, I'll just put that there because I might need to draw a change. Yeah. Belt o knives. This is looking good. We are looking good. Alright. Plus one Mox. That gives you your three. Now you can shoot and then. Uh, recover HP. Right. Okay. 
Um, okay, okay. Hmm. So now, yeah, so wonder if I could heal over maximum. I don't know if I could. Uh, but we got our plus one mock, so now we could shoot, shoot and do this. Awesome. Okay. Um, these are going to go over here, because I think I'm going to continue to equip this. It worked out really well with heal max. Everything back up to the start here. Uh, come on. Okay. So, um, what was my other things I got to do here? And the town phase with the least coins. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, can I buy something for six? Thieves bandana is a headgear. When attacking, you may give your daggers and swords plus three range and plus one damage. Uh, I could buy this. But this is an accessory. Which I already have the white flag. What's this? Uh, I just don't think there's anything I could do. Mm. Okay. Well... I mean, it would be nice to get the Garden Shears equipped. Plus three accuracy, one damage. They are just so much better. Oh, this is a dagger. What was the Thieves Bandana? Is that daggers? Attacking you may give your daggers and swords. Plus three range. This is... Okay, here we go. Do I have seven bucks? I do. That's it. That's the one. That's the one we want right there. Now I can unequip this. We want this Thieves Bandana. For sure. For sure. Mission cap can come down here. We've got ourselves quite. Yep, this can come down here. Put on the garden shears. Put on the medicine bag. No, I just want one card. Okay, there we go. Now, four bucks. So now, uh, the way it would go, it would rotate again to everybody because you can't buy you can't buy multiple things in your turn but you can buy multiple things in the town phase so now we'll go back through buy order so norman uh no yancey plover he could buy now if he wants one two three four five or he's got six i would have to buy this potion hmm i don't really think i want to do that What am I losing out on? Okay. I'm not losing out on that much. I don't, I'm not going to do it. I'll just wait. Uh, so he's going to pass. Now he's out of the buy phase. Uh, two, she can't buy anything. She's now out of the buy phase. Four, though, he could maybe get leg gear or something. Anything? Oh, you know what I could do? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. So he was first. Yancy was first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pay five to refresh it for uh, him. For Norman. So I'll pay five. Now I only have one. That does put me at the lowest here. So I'll go ahead. I'll pay five. I'll refresh it, right? I think it's five to refresh. Oh, I forget exactly how much it is now to refresh. I'm almost positive it's five. I just got to double check. Town phase. Uh, the peddler. Players not disc. Oh. Oh, no, those are the secrets. Okay. The peddler. Tell somebody to buy or sell one piece of gear on their turn. The order repeats, so we're doing that. Oh, it's eight coins. After laying out a peddler gear, townsfolk may pay up to collective eight coins. Ooh, it's a collective eight coins. How much did he pay? Five. So you could pay six, seven, eight. So I could pay all eight. No, there cannot be a time. Or cannot be a tie. Okay, so he gets his five bucks back. Okay, he's passing, passing, passing. Norman, you have four. Uh, man, this would be awesome. I just don't think there's anything I can do. He has only four. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything I can do. I tried. <laughs> uh, so what do we got? Next, we've got Umbrello. All right, so we will fight Umbrello next. So... 
uh, he's cool. I thank you all so much for watching. Again, it's so very humbling. I'm so just... It, it's been very humbling. <laughs> I'm so glad people are enjoying this. I enjoy playing this game. It's really fun. I'm glad I got to take revenge here on uh, the straw man. Uh, yeah, how bad it the first fight was. But uh, as you can see, it's a lot more tactical of a game. Uh, as you see, I was pulling him using the spiked uh, armor to deal damage. It is a much more tactical game than just move like I was doing last time. So, again, thank you so much for watching. It's so humbling. And uh, we'll fight Umbrella next and we'll continue on.